welcome back. More than 150 delegates have been in Auckland today for the second annual Forum on the Family Conference. Politicians, media experts and lobby groups joined more than 64 family-focused organisations for the event. Scott Kelso reports. The New Zealand Forum on the Family was held today in Auckland, bringing together 65 delegates from pro-family and pro-life groups. The aim? To equip organisations to speak up, to inspire them to do it, because I think we've been too silent for too long, and also to network, because there's a synergy when a number of groups come together and speak up effectively. There's more weight to it. So I think, you know, 65 organisations concerned about the family, there's a message in itself. National Director of Family First, Bob McCoskery, says it's about giving organisations a voice. It's a great opportunity basically to say, look, we've got to start speaking up. You know, a lot of us sit back and say, what can we do? What can we do to change it? Today's about empowering those groups, inspiring them, equipping them to speak up. And I think we've got to speak up. You know, Martin Luther King Jr. said, uh, our lives cease to matter when we become silent about the things that matter. We've got to speak up. Christine Rankin, Ian Grant, John Tamahiri were among the speakers at the event. The forum focused on three areas, media politics and family structure. Phil Guyon from the Christian Broadcasting Association was invited to speak on media. I was talking about how to use uh, media to best advantage. Um, specifically I was talking about the importance to win the crowd if we're to get our message across. If people don't like us, they're not going to accept our message. If they do like us, they're much more likely to be open to our message. The political forum kicked off after lunch with delegates from majority of the political parties, minus the progressives and the Māori party. Taito Philip Field was also on the bill, but was absent on the day. The political forum, what we've done is we've asked uh, organisations represented here to put forward their questions. So we've got a list of questions. There's about 15 questions from some of the key national organisations. They will put their question and then the eight political parties that are represented here today will have one minute to tell us uh, their response. It's, it's pretty quick fire, but it's going to give uh, the organisations an idea of of how the political parties are thinking, but I think more importantly, the political parties are going to understand what some of the issues are of these grassroots organisations. Parties represented were National, Labour, New Zealand First, the Greens, United Future Act and Future New Zealand. Questions ranged from sex education to marriage and government involvement in the family. Judith Collins, National. My view is that with, in terms of marriage, I actually want the government out of my family. I want out of my family as much as possible. And the reason that we are talking today about it is the fact that the government currently encourages families to break up. Russell Fairbrother, Labour. This government, of course, encourages, encourages families and encourages raising children in a proper environment so that they grow up with the right values so they're responsible citizens. That's got to be a given. But it's also a fact that in New Zealand we have uh, diverse lifestyles and so we support an inclusive approach that covers a full range of families in New Zealand. And questions were raised around the future of the Families Commission. Green Party originally voted against the establishment of the Families Commission as we felt that that money would have been better spent on frontline community groups supporting families and children. And also we would have liked to have seen more money going into the office of the Children's Commissioner. However, um, since that time, we really feel that the Families Commission has over the last few years started to prove itself as a serious and independent advocate for the needs of parents, families and children. Nick Kearney, Act. We have to be careful if we stand up here and we you know, say we're not really in support of the Families Commission or we want to disband it or whatever, that we're not seen to be people who are anti-family. Of course, that's not the view at all. I think what, what's going on is you know, you've, you've set up a government department that actually looks after, uh, looks after things that families, mums and dads and neighbours and communities should actually do for themselves. Yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, this is only our second year. It's double the audience from last year, so we'll just continue to grow. And obviously, with election ne next year, that's going to be even more significant as we uh, find find out what are the political parties uh, offering families, how are they going to strengthen families. The forum was not just about equipping organisations to become more effective, but also to inspire. Christine Rankin. I hope that we're all going to go out and fight and never give in. We've got to be inspired by this and know that all of us together can make a difference. One person can make a huge difference. All of these people together can make an enormous difference. It's how you do it. Having that passion, which actually seems to go a little bit countercultural to the way New Zealanders express themselves, the only time we're passionate is when the All Blacks are winning, and we need to be passionate about the things that matter to family. Well, I think it's time that uh, New Zealand stood up, and especially the Christian community, and people who uh, care about the family, and especially about our children and our nation. And um, forums like this actually give voice to it. It helps people understand what, where everybody else is coming from. And also, I think, 
and I'm really hopeful that they understand it's going to take us all joining together to make a difference. Um, surrounded by a lot of other people that are involved in very, very worthy causes. Um, there's tons of room for improvement, I guess. And I mean, look, the, the country uh, has certainly got some problems, but there's some, some great stuff going on as well in the country. Um, and whatever we can do to make it a better place to live, that's all good. The forum is about change. You know, I really do utterly and absolutely believe in that family is fundamental. And this is just reminding us in so many ways how we can fight and how we can make it happen. The New Zealand Forum on the Family is in its second year and it's growing, with more and more organisations coming together to encourage each other and create a collective voice for families. Well, my hope is basically that all these organisations will start to speak up, that they'll be equipped to do it, they'll be inspired to do it, they'll network with other organisations who are doing it. But I think for too long our silence has been the problem. We've seen the moral decline, we've seen the pressures on families, we've seen the uh, role of parents being undermined. We've just been too quiet. We must speak up. Scott Kelso, Enzo Tonight.